It is like 5 a.m. on day one of Sekiro, and uh, I have fixed SLI support. My name is Troy Harrison Christ. Uh, yes, my initials are THC. How's it going? How the hell are you? Drop a like, subscribe. Let's get you some frames. Uh, this is a very easy fix, so the first thing that you will need is NVIDIA Profile Inspector 2.13.10. The link will be down below as always. And so here's how we do it. It's really simple, so let's... Uh, Let's pop right into it. So go to this PC. First thing you will need, go to your C drive or wherever you have Windows installed. Click on this view button and make sure you have hidden items uh, checked off. You, you need hidden items checked right there. So after that is clicked, we're gonna scroll down here to program data. Click that, yes. NVIDIA Corporation, yes. DRS, click on that. And then click on the first thing, NV app timestamps, shift, go down on your arrow key, all the way down, right click, properties, um, mine's already not on read only, so really quick, I'm going to turn it on, read only, but this is what you guys need to do. You click all those, you right click, you need that on properties, read only off. Bef before you do any changes in NVIDIA Profile Inspector, read only off. Mine was already at read only off because I already did it like 10 minutes ago, so apply, okay. After that, we just close it. Next thing we need to do is open up NVIDIA Profile Inspector 2.130. Go to Dark Souls 3. Just go to Dark Souls 3. So uh, be before we do that, uh, Sekiro does not have a profile yet. I could not find one. I, I reinstalled it, reinstalled the driver, I didn't have a, a profile for Sekiro, so go to Dark Souls 3. Um, it's already applied for me, but you click this button right here, um, the blue lined white circle with the, the green plus in there, you click that, and then you will add Sekiro to the application. You click that, and then you just click open. It's gonna say it's already applied for me because I already applied it. And then, uh, you spam apply changes a few times, pretty much. If you do not know exactly where you installed Sekiro, Shadows Die twice, let's scroll down to our Steam location, pretty much, click that. It's gonna be in whatever drive you have, Steam Apps, or wait, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, then Sekiro uh, Shadows Die twice. But if you are kind of a noob to all this fixing and that kind of stuff, you just go to Sekiro, right click, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. So it's in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Sekiro. And then you scroll down to your application. That's exactly where it is. All right guys, I, right now I will cut to the gameplay I recorded two minutes earlier. Um, of SLI working, I was so surprised that SLI just it worked. It works amazingly again. Another another game that came out doesn't have a driver yet, um, but SLI works perfectly. Another THC SLI for uh, SLI fix. Enjoy the frames. Comment down below. And, or com I can't talk. It's five. What time is it? What time is it? 4.43 a.m. I did a five-hour live stream of Sekiro, and then I fixed SLI half an hour afterwards. I'm s Can we get some let's goes in the chat? Can we get some thank you THCs? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut to the gameplay right now. The only, only, only glitch that I found is if you are in the water, it's going to freak out. It's going to freak, freak, freak out. It might drop to 20 FPS. But when you're playing the game, there's no flickering, there's no shadow glitches, there's no nothing. I got perfect scaling between both of my cards, 60 FPS. I will try and figure out a way to um, disable V-Sync very soon. I did not, wasn't able to figure that out tonight, but I will have that tutorial up as soon as I can. Besides that, my name is Troy Harrison Christ. My friends call me THC. Here's the gameplay, SLI is working perfectly, drop a sub, please share this with your friend if you know he has two GPUs and is buying Sekiro. Alright, enough chitter chatter, 
please subscribe. Let's get way past 4,000 subs and uh, enjoy the frames.